In June last year, Aminata Toure was on her way to see her uncle when she was stopped by two men on a motorcycle. They raped her on the side of the road. They told me to stop, she says. I refused, but they were armed, and they said they would kill me if I didn't stop. One of them held my baby, while the other one took me into the bush. Then they did everything they wanted to do. Aminata is one of thousands of women that the UN has identified as victims of a campaign of sexual violence carried out by Islamist militants and Tuareg rebels in northern Mali last year. Their stories are only now being heard as French and Malian forces finally push rebel forces back. UNICEF reported the case of a 15-year-old girl raped by 10 men and other victims as young as six years old. Families have told horror stories that Islamist militants forced their daughters to marry at gunpoint, then raped and abandoned them. To protect their daughters, Nana Toure, a women's aid leader, helps smuggle teenage girls to the south of the country for safety. She explains, we went from house to house to look for girls to hide them or help them flee. We helped lots of girls to escape. The UN fears the number of victims from sexual violence may in fact be much higher as women are afraid to report the rapes because of the shame they feel. Aid and government assistance is trickling back to North Mali, but it has not yet reached Aminata Toure. She says she tries to forget about the men who raped her, but she has this reminder, a newborn son, another child she struggles to care for despite little help. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.